In order to divide complex numbers, you have to know what the complex conjugate is. So if I have a standard complex number, a plus bi, then the conjugate of a plus bi is going to be a minus bi. All this, all this happening is you're taking the sign of the imaginary part and you're changing it. So it was once positive, so now it's negative. So that's the complex conjugate. So whenever you divide complex numbers, what you want to do is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So what does that look like? If I have a plus bi over c plus di, then I want to take the conjugate of the denominator. So the denominator is c plus di. The conjugate of that would be c minus di. So I would multiply top and bottom by c minus di. I will multiply it and I will simplify it and I will put my final answer in the form of a complex number a plus bi. So let's look at an example. So in example seven, we are going to divide six plus two i by three minus i. So in order to divide, we have to multiply by the complex conjugate of the denominator. The denominator is three minus i, so the conjugate of that will be three plus i. So we want to multiply the top and the bottom by 3 plus i. And I'm going to rewrite it as 6 plus 2i in parentheses times 3 plus i in parentheses. And same in the denominator. And I'm going to come over a little bit, give me a little more room. So you have to multiply. You actually have to multiply in order to divide. So you have to multiply the numerator, so the 6 times 3 and the 6 times i. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times i is positive 6i. The 2i and the 3. 2i times 3 is 6i. And the 2i and the i, which is 2i squared. And then the denominator, you have 3 times 3, which is 9. 3 times i, which is positive 3i negative i times 3, which is negative 3i, and negative i times i squared, which is negative i squared. And you can combine these i's, so 18, that becomes 12i. Now remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So since i squared is equal to negative 1, then this will become 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. So anytime you have i squared, you want to turn it into a negative 1. In the bottom, this positive 3i and negative 3i, they cancel out. You're left with 9. Since i squared is negative 1, you get a minus negative 1, which is a positive 1. So basically, the i squared on the end will always change that sign right there. So combine the 18 and the minus 2, and you get 16 plus 12i in the numerator and 9 plus 1, which is 10 in the denominator. So I'm going to come in this little space over here. That simplifies to 16 over 10 plus 12 over 10i. And since both of those, all of those numbers actually are even, you can divide them all by 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 10 divided by 2 is 5. I. So your final answer in complex form will be 8 fifths plus 6 fifths I. And this is how you divide complex numbers. Okay, now I want you to try this one, okay? Try it as best as you can and see what you get. So I want you to divide 5 plus I by 4 minus I. Try it and see if you can get it. Pause the video. Okay, so the first thing you should have did was multiply by the conjugate, which is 4 plus i. Then you should have multiplied this. So 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times i is 5i. I times 4 is 4i. And i times i is i squared. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times i is 4i. It's supposed to be a plus. Minus i times 4 is minus 4i, and negative i times i is negative i squared. 5i and 4i is 9i, 
And remember, I squared is negative 1, so this is minus 1. The four i's here cancel, so you get 16. I squared is negative 1, so this becomes a positive 1. 20 minus 1 is 19, plus 9i. 16 plus 1 is 17. Break that apart. 19 over 17 plus 9 over 17i. Is that what you got? You can't simplify that any further, so that is your final answer. So hopefully you got that. If not, go back through it and see if you can figure out where you made your mistake. Make sure you go back and you can understand the process. Alrighty, so make sure you practice, practice, practice. Ask questions. If you have any questions, comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get uh, more math videos. And also, hit the bell so that you get notifications. Thank you.